So this problem, we have a function p, and it's t over t plus 1 minus 1 outside the fraction. I'm only going to do the negative 3 and the 1 7th, and we'll go with the negative 3 first. So first thing I'm going to do is just rewrite p of t. And sometimes it's helpful to write, replace t by a box whenever you're going to plug something in. So now I'm going to plug in the negative 3. So I'm going to put negative 3 in the three boxes from above. I already did it on the box on the left. Now on the right we have negative 3 divided by negative 3 plus 1, minus 1 outside. All we need to do is simplify this. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. Negative over negative is positive, so that's positive 3 halves. Now we want to turn it into a single number, so I'm going to multiply 1 by 2 over 2. So we have 3 halves minus 2 halves, which is 1 half. And that will go right there, 1 half. Now for the 1 seventh. So this is a little trickier. I am looking at the uh, version I just circled there. So p of 1 seventh. So I have 1 seventh over 1 seventh plus 1 minus 1. All right, so I just put 1 seventh in the box, all three boxes. Now what do we do? Well, we need to simplify this a little bit. I'm simplifying this denominator. So what's 1 seventh plus 1? Remember, 1 is 8 sevenths. So we have 1 seventh plus, 1 is not 8 sevenths, 1 is 7 sevenths. So I need sevenths like that. Now I can add Freudian slip because I knew we were going to get 8 sevenths. And so 1 seventh plus 7 sevenths is 8 sevenths minus 1. We have a multi-story fraction, so we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator, which is that 8 sevenths. So 1 seventh times 7 eighths minus 1. Uh, we're about to be in eighths, so we'll multiply 1 by 8 over 8. All right, so canceling, multiplying, divide by 7, we have 1 eighth minus 8 eighths, so that's negative 7 eighths. And that will go right there. Cross our fingers, look at that. All right. So just be careful with fractions. Make sure that you handle denominator the right way. Uh, make sure that plus one makes it inside the denominator. You don't want to write your plus one uh, outside the fraction. That's not how it should go. And make sure your negative one stays outside the fraction because it was outside the fraction to begin with.